Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to make eggs over easy. These are perfect for breakfast, obviously. You can serve them over toast. I like to put them over a salad. It adds a nice little protein you know, ingredient to our salad. It's delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So the tools we need for this is a non-stick frying pan. We need to use one with Teflon so that it doesn't stick. We'll need a spatula or something that's, you know, you can use in a non-stick pan. I like to use a rubber spatula and you also need a little bowl, something to put your egg in so that uh, you can check for shells before you actually start cooking. So we're gonna crack our egg into a separate bowl, drop it in gently. And if you get any eggshells in there, use your eggshell to take it out. It'll make it much easier. So here we go, we've got a non-stick frying pan. I have a small one here. This is probably a six inch um, over low heat. You wanna have low heat and you definitely wanna use a non-stick pan for this. Now you can use butter or you can use olive oil or avocado oil, even coconut oil. Any of those will work, or you can use a combination of two. But today I like to use butter. I'm using uh, Kerrygold butter, it's one of my favorites, and I'm gonna put you know, a fair amount in there, probably a tablespoon, into the pan, and we're gonna let that melt. And I'm just gonna kinda move it around the, the pan to coat it. And what we're waiting for is for the butter to start to bubble up a little bit and get foamy. So the idea with making eggs over easy is you wanna cook them low and slow. Okay, so we're starting to get a little action there. I'm gonna pour in my egg gently, try not to break the yolk. And I want it to stay kind of in one spot of the pan. I don't want it to spread real thin. So I'm gonna kind of encourage it with my spatula. Drop it in. And you can see it's kind of, it wants to spread. So I'm gonna bring it back in just a little bit. I'm gonna turn the temperature down to low again. And you can see like right over here, this is very clear. The outside part of the egg white is starting to turn white and that's what we want. So we're gonna let this cook slow, and if it ever gets too hot, we can always pull the pan right off the stove or away from the heat. So you always have that option. Now you'll see a little bit of bubbling going on, that's okay. If it gets too much bubbling going on, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, lift the pan up. What I'm looking for is for all this clear area to become white, and then we get to try and flip it over. Now I'm gonna try and toss it in the pan, but you can do it with a spatula, whatever makes you feel comfortable. It's almost there, guys, and then we're gonna flip it over. All right, here we go. Let me turn it around a little bit. It should be sliding around in your pan like that. Now we're just gonna leave it here for just like 30 seconds or so, and we'll be done. Now you want to touch it in the center. It's still nice and jiggly, a little bit of jiggle there, but I'd say this is basically done. Okay, I'm gonna flip it out. I would uh, give it a little bit of salt and a little crack of pepper. A delicious way to make eggs, everybody. Uh, a little salt and pepper on there at the end is really nice. Nice and buttery, cooked in butter. Uh, you're gonna love it. So if you know of anybody who might wanna learn how to make eggs like this, send them over to my channel, I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you next time.